Now that you've been practicing solving equations using addition and subtraction, now we're going to switch gears and solve equations using, using multiplication and division. And it's basically the same concept. It's just you're thinking in different operations. Um, and so here we go. So here is the lesson that you'll learn. We're going to go through three examples. Um, and so here's the first example. For a school fundraiser, Yetis, Yetis is packing boxes for children in Guyana, South America. Yetis has 48 notebooks. She puts six notebooks in each box. How, much, how many boxes will have notebooks? So the first thing that we need to do is assign a letter to the unknown. And the unknown is how many boxes will have notebooks. Since it's boxes, we're going to pick B. So let B equal the number of boxes with notebooks. The next thing that we have to do is make an equation. Now, for this video, I have created a multiplication and a division equation for each question. But when you're solving, all you would really need to do is find one equation that you could use. So here are the two equations that I chose. So in option one, we've got 6B equals 48. And now remember, 6B, we can just imagine a little multiplication symbol right there. See it there? But we don't need it. So I'm going to undo that. <laughs> so 6 times B equals 48. Or if you wanted to do division, you just take 48, which is the answer, and divide it by either 6 or B. In this case, I put 6, and then we made it equal B. So when doing either one of these, um, you're always just thinking, what can I multiply by 6 to get 48? Um, and so this is what it looks like. So this is what my thinking is. 6 times what equals 48, right? 6 times what, B means what, equals 48. And so if you know your multiplication facts, you know that the answer is 8. So that means that B equals 8. The next question is, Clive watched the first snow of the season fall outside his window. Each hour, 30, 3 centimeters of snow fell. The total snowfall was 15 centimeters. For how many hours did it snow? So the first thing that we need to do is assign a letter to the unknown, and the unknown is how many hours in total did it snow for. So I chose H for hours, so let H equal total hours. Well, the next thing that we need to do is find an equation that will help us solve the answer. So our numbers that we know are 3, 15, and then the unknown of H. We know the total is 15. So with our um, multiplication answer, our answer is going to be 15. And with division, the beginning number is going to be 15. Um, and then so we're either times in 3 times H or 15 divided by 3 equals H. Or it could be 15 divided by H equals 3. That works too. And so um, what that looks like is our thinking stays the same. 3 times what equals 15. And so if you know your multiplication facts, or if you can just skip count by threes, you know that the answer is five. So that means that H equals five. So it took five hours for the snow to fall. Okay, our last example is Kaza, Cassia, we'll say Cassia, buys eight tickets for a lacrosse game. Altogether, the tickets cost $96. What is the cost of one ticket? So first thing we need to do is assign a letter to our unknown, and our unknown is what the cost is of one ticket. So since we are thinking about the cost, I, I chose C. Let C equal the cost of one ticket. And remember, it doesn't matter what letter you pick. It's just a letter, um, but it always makes sense to, to make it match with what you're looking for. Um, the next thing that you need to do is find an equation. So again, I chose a multiplication and a division to show you that you can do either one. Um, and so I chose 8 times C equals 96 because we know the total number of tickets is $96 and we know that she buys eight of them. So we just need to know how much each one costs. Or you could go 96 divided by 8 equals the, the price of one ticket. So either way, you're thinking 8 times what equals 96. 8 times what equals 96. If you know your multiplication facts, you know that answer is 12. So that means that the cost of one ticket is $12. So C equals 12. And so that's the basics of the lesson. Um, you can use a multiplication chart if you need to. Um, it's uh, a little bit requiring of you to know your multiplication facts, but only like one times table to 12 times table. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so that's what you're going to do for that lesson.